We've been discussing the formula for healing. Belief plus expectation, hope, equals the substance of faith. Your healing. Faith. It is. You got it. You have the faith. Stay tuned till the end where you will learn the correct perspective on faith. Thank you for landing on my channel where you will find the best teachings on divine healing. Hit the subscribe button and hit that old bell so you will be notified when I post new content every Wednesday, every week. Be blessed, be healed, and be a blessing. The wrong perspective on faith will keep us from being able to recognize our healing. This is the third part for the formula of re recognizing your healing. Hi, I'm Tony Myers. I was healed of ALS. I've written over four books on divine healing. And I've led thousands to be able to recognize their healing. And with a few little tweaks, you are next. So, here's the kicker. Faith. We've talked about belief. We have talked about expectation. Now, let's talk about faith. We put the cart before the apple and before the horse. We all, so many people are seeking more faith. Well, in the second part of this teaching, I'm going to prove to you that you have the faith for your healing. Gonna prove that to you. And then it's going to point us right back to the correct beliefs and confident expectation for now. But first, let me explain that in the Gospels, now recall, the Gospels is under the law of Moses. Jesus had not yet fulfilled the law of Moses. Understand this. He is to, talking to a people that is still under the law, that have faith in the law of Moses. You have got essentially two types of faith in the Gospels. You have those who have faith in the law of Moses, the Pharisees, for instance, and indeed generally all the people of that time had faith in the law of Moses. Then you had those who had faith in Jesus, the man, the physical man who was standing in front of them. Those are the two types of faith. The ones like the centurion who said, I am a man of authority. I tell this ser servant to go fetch this and they go do it. So you've got no need to go to my house. Simply speak the word. He had faith in Jesus. And then Jesus responds, Lo, never have I seen such great faith. That is a different type of faith than what we can operate in today. Now, in today, we still do have the choice. We can operate in faith in the Old Covenant, in the Law of Moses. We can make the choice to have faith in the things of this world. 
for instance, medicine. If I take this aspirin, it will heal me. We still have a choice what to put our trust in. But back then, it was before the law of Moses was fulfilled and before the day of Pentecost. So guess what? We are going to talk about, you've already got the faith. That is no longer the issue. The issue is, are you going to empower your faith of Christ that is within you or are you going to empower other types of faith? We have the choice. We will discuss how, how so often people are condemned, put down, made fun of, that you don't have the faith or the reason you're not healed and they pl place it as a lack in the person that is wrong because I'm telling you right now you do have the faith and in the next segment I will prove that but first where was the Pharisees trust or faith where were those who came to Jesus to be healed who did they have faith in who did the disciples have faith in write down your answer below I just made the statement I will prove that you do indeed have the faith now all we simply have to do is empower the faith that we have. Let's talk about the day of Pentecost where Peter proclaims that this is that which the prophet Joel spoke about that God I shall pour my spirit upon all flesh. This is the spirit of faith. Let me use a couple of scriptures here. Romans 12, 3. According as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. 2 Corinthians 4, 13. We having the same spirit of faith. 2 Corinthians 13, 5. Know ye not your own selves how that Jesus Christ is in you except ye be reprobate. Galatians 2.16 But by the faith of Jesus Christ even we have believed on Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. So it's by the faith of Christ, and don't you know, unless ye be reprobate, you have Christ in you. So you have the faith within you. You have got the faith of Christ. It is never a lack of faith. If someone doesn't get healed, it is not because of a lack. Which leads me right back to how do you empower the faith you already have? By the correct beliefs, which is what? That we have already received our healing once again because we've already received the Holy Spirit who was poured out upon all flesh so therefore we have our healing and there is nothing except not believing that 
not taking that as an unquestionable fact that by his stripes we were healed, that is the only thing that can stop or block your healing, along with putting off confident expectation deferred makes the heart sick. If the heart is sick, the body is sick. So it is putting off the healing. So the correct belief plus expectation equals empowered faith. You are not lacking faith. And in fact, just like with Peter, walking on water, he cut his faith short. He had faith in the man of Jesus. Now the way the translation reads, we think it's a lack of faith. Actually, when you dig into it, it is that Peter cut his faith short by looking at the waves. So, the bottom line is this. You have the faith. Now develop the correct belief with confident expectation. Then you will be able to recognize your healing. It sounds too simple to be true, but it's not. It is the simplicity of a child. So you have the faith already. All you have to do is empower the Holy Spirit. How do you empower the Holy Spirit? By believing that he who is, is a rewarder. A rewarder, a reward, is the Holy Spirit in us. By which the Holy Spirit is giving life to our bodies, therefore I can recognize improvement now. There you have it. You have your healing. Thank you, Jesus. So, you have the faith. Quit trying to get more faith. Start empowering the faith of Christ that you already have. You have his faith. When Jesus was saying, if ye have faith as small as a mustard seed, once again, he was speaking before the Father and Christ poured out his spirit upon all flesh. Before Jesus ascended into heaven so he could pour out his spirit. When that happened, now you have the faith of Christ you ain't got to worry about just having a little bit faith of a mustard seed the size of that. You ain't got to worry about that. You have the whole enchilada, the complete pizza pie, the total taco. You have it. Now empower it with the right belief and with earnestly anticipating for now there is a change. Because you have that same spirit of faith, which is the Holy Spirit living inside of you, who takes care of his temple. When we agree with him, when we empower him by the unquestionable fact. Be blessed, be healed, and be a blessing. In the description, I've included a link so that you can receive a free chapter to my book, Divine Healing DIY, where I talk more about this, so that you can get this, grab a hold of it, and have your healing. If you like the teaching, click the subscription button, hit the bell, so that you receive 
notification of new content every Wednesday. Next week, I will be declaring life over specific things. So tune in next week. Then the following week, we will talk about the brain, the control center for the physical senses. And this is where we fall into doubt, unbelief, and double-mindedness. Be blessed. Be healed. And be a blessing.